evening and welcome to another episode of The Den with me, B-Boy Volk. Today we're going to be going over headstands, handstands, and elbow freezes. I haven't recorded a couple videos in a couple days, so uh, my hair looks different. It has receded into my head a little bit. Anyway, so today, welcome to another episode. Uh, so we're going to do handstands, headstands, and elbow freezes. The cool thing about this is that all of these freezes have uh, a similar kind of like base to them. So once you get one, it's... I don't like to use the word easy, but um, it's not too bad to learn the other ones, you know. So let's begin. We're going to start with a headstand. Uh, I recommend using a mat. Vincent, get out of here. Nope. So if you remember what I said before about um, freezes, I told you not to use mats. Um, but if you're going to, put your hands on the stable surface, uh, but then put your uh, the part where you're freezing on the on the soft surface. We're going to do the same thing here. Do a headstand. You're going to go to your knees. I'll do it in all directions so you guys will know, uh, so don't worry about that. So we're here. Um, we're going to put our fingers facing forward and we're going to put our head down like this. And we're going to be in this position. Now from here, you want to push up and then go into like a triangle like position on your head. You should be in this position. If this feels uncomfortable, then just keep practicing this until you feel comfortable. From here, you can do things like lift one leg up, and then come down, and lift the other leg up, and come down. So, fingers are here, head is coming down, come up to our toes from here. So, if our hands are here, I like to reposition my hands to here, and then go to my fingertips. But, you don't have to go to your fingertips, you can just put your hands here or here. Um, just letting you know, for future reference, the ending position is here, but for now, keep it here. Now here, you want to take your knees, and you want to bend them, and while I'm using my knees and my toes to push my hips up in the air, and then my legs are either going to go straight up or to the side and out, okay? So here we go, on three, one, two, three, get a little bit up, and come down. Try it again. A little up. And then, all right, so you feel a little comfortable. What's the next step? Get a little bit higher. Three, two, one, a little bit higher. And come down. One more time. Use your knees and toes. Up. Oh, look at that. And you're up in a headstand. And you're holding it. Look at you go. I'm going to do the same thing facing this way. So we're on our knees. Hands are here. Okay. Head comes down. Feet come up. Bend knees, toes up. And I'm up here. All right, how to clean it up a little bit, okay? So, um, if you look at my headstand, um, look at my center position. Look, Sus. Idile miesta. I love you too. I love you too. Idile miesta. How to clean up um, the headstand. So, if you look at my hips, okay, I'm going to do a headstand again. Look at my hips and uh, see how my legs are shaped, okay? So, here we go. So, I'm going to do it again. So, the first thing you notice is if you see my hands, I'm going to just put, put them out here. So I'm here, once again to the position I want, I rotate my hands this way, and I go to my fingertips. And I should be able to hold, hold my, my body up to here. So if you see, I have like a center line that's in between my body, and that's where I'm trying to focus. I always make this, um, I always make this uh, correlation. Imagine like you're standing on a, on a straight line and you're trying to balance on one foot. So you're using your hands to balance. If I do if I do this, see, I'm like leaning too much. If I do this, see, I'm off balance. It's the same thing, but we're upside down, except imagine this is our hands, okay? It's the same exact concept. From here, you see the same exact concept, all right? So I would want you guys to get to this position or like this, okay? And that should be the, the, the end goal for your headstand of what you want to do. All right, I'm going to do it again on the side way and facing you so you guys can see. So you got the both legs up down, so sit, so for a headstand, if you got this part down here, you're in a good spot. Now I want you to try to practice getting up with one leg only. So we're going to use one leg, and we're going to lift this up, bend and kick, and up here. So if you look at my leg, I'm, not, I'm using the same motion, this one, 
except now I'm only doing it with one foot. So I'm using one foot and this leg is whipping. Whip it up. Up. And then. Okay? So we got that down. Um, I'm going to talk about how to improve and uh, refine your headstand, elbow freeze, and handstand at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. Let's move on to elbow freeze, okay? So elbow freeze is the same exact thing as a headstand. Not the same exact thing, but the lower body is mostly identical to how you want your body to look like in um, a headstand. So for elbow freeze, I recommend having elbow pads. I use volleyball pads. Uh, if you're interested in doing elbow spins, which I'll talk about later, this is a, a, volley, a volley, volleyball knee pad that I, I put here uh, for spins. But uh, just for regular ones, you could just use like elbow pads that you can find in the sporting goods store. Okay? So, um, elbow freeze is the same exact thing as a headstand per se, more or less. Alright, so we're going to start in the same exact position we did before, right here. So our elbow is going down. Biggest mistake that I see uh, from elbow freeze users. I'm going to move this way so you guys can see. When people do elbow freeze and they lift their bodies, um, a lot of times I see people either like leaning forward or they're not too high enough. Your elbow has to be in a 90 degree angle, which is like this, okay? And it can't move in, this, in, in these spots. So, so this, the base has to be extremely strong, especially for elbow air flares and other things that you want to do. So, if we're here, I'm using my fingers to grab the floor. Don't do shit like this, okay? You need to use your fingers and grab the floor, okay? So we're going to get up in this position again. So like before, Vincent! Thank you. So once again, we're going to use the same technique that we used in the headstand, the same exact one. So we get into this position. This feels good, lift one leg up, and practice just swinging it up. And do the same with the other leg. Okay, All right, we're here with our both feet here, bend our knees and toes up a little bit, come down. One more time, boom, up, come down. Get a little higher, boom, come down. And keep going until you feel like you're at a good level, that your hips, and everything is at the same line on your shoulder. Up. Okay, that's a bad one. Do it again. Boom. So if you notice, my hips, my elbow, my head are all on one line going up. If I do shit like this, if I'm here and I'm back here, or if I'm here and I, I lean too much forward here, and have a bad time. You have to, you, you should feel yourself being pretty balanced on your elbows, okay? Now we got the, the two legs up, let's start with the one foot. So same concept applies. We're using this to swing up, bend knees and toes up, and out. And you have a double freeze. Boom. Boom. So you got your right hand down. Oh, thank God, this practice session is over, right, Volk? Wrong! Now you gotta do your left hand. Same exact concept applies. I'm not going to waste time here. You guys know what to do. So we're here. Bend up. And out. And then hold. And then one leg. Boom. And up. And hold. Same exact thing. With two arms. Here. Boom. Up. And then here. Boom. Now in my opinion, two hands are the hardest. But it really just kind of depends on how you go at it, okay? And the last thing before I talk about what not to do and how to improve and uh, really shape out and uh, get all those greases out of your freezes. Greases out of your creases. Handstands, my favorite. So for handstand, I recommend not using a mat. Well, actually, use a mat if you want to. I ha I've had several people tell me Hey, can I use a wall when I practice handstands? And I say, no! Because, like, what are you going to be in a battle and just be like, ooh, ah, yo, check this out. Woo! You're not going to do that, so you might as well just learn uh, how to hold your, your body regularly, okay? Use a mat if you're really afraid. All right, so, surprise, surprise, the handstand is very similar 
to elbow freeze and headstand. We're, the lower body is doing the exact same thing, except now we don't really have um, that whole bending knees and pushing up motion. This is more reliant on whipping. Same exact concept applies. We're going to start in this direction, okay? Hands come up, all right? So, so first step, hands come up. I want you guys to lean back a little bit and then go forward. Then lean back and go forward. Now, when I, do, when I see handstands, a lot of people just jump into it. And um, I'll talk about this when I talk about um, pirouettes and power starts. If you add a little bit of like a to your, to your moves, it, it makes like a big difference. Small decisions make a big impact. You know, like I've always held true to that statement when it comes to dancing and, and creative, creative things. All right, so we're up here. Same exact concept applies. I just want you guys to get your feet up in the air. Don't worry about getting super high up. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go back. And boop. And down. Now you see me doing like a little bit of a scissor thing. Try to not do that, okay? That's a bad habit. Just try to get your legs out and then come back down to here again. So one more time. One more time, get a little bit higher. And so on and so forth, so forth until your, your hips are center lined like you are with your elbow freeze and your handstand. And straight legs up. Okay. It's easier to break down this move in an elbow freeze and a headstand because the, the, the area from your face to the ground is a lot lower, so you have more room to like play around with stuff and see what works for you. Once you have your elbow freeze and your headstand down pretty well, I think you're pretty good to practice your, your handstand. Boom, ba, boom. So if you see, once you have the handstand, I don't need to do this this whole thing up. But it makes like a big, you see how much more energy I have when I go up compared to just being like, you know? So um, once you get it down, you can be more casual about it. I'll talk about this in my flare video too. But um, for now, use this whole motion. And as always, your legs, you want to be out or open one more time. Go in here. Okay, and come down. So the biggest tip I can give for handstands that changed my life, and I'm sure it's gonna change yours, is I'm gonna do a handstand. I want you guys to look at my fingertips. I don't know if it's able to you able to see this on camera, but uh, let's give it a go. All right, ready? Look at my fingertips. Ready? Here we go. So if you notice, I'm grabbing the floor with my fingertips which is like able from it which is giving me more control over my body and able to hold my hips in a center when i'm upside down in a handstand i feel myself kind of shaking a little bit in order to stop that i grab more of the floor so i can be, give myself a stronger base kind of like when a roof is like being like um moving in like heavy wind try to like grab okay none nobody who's watching this is a house so i don't think they can relate to this analogy but you know what I mean, like grab the foundation when you're, when you're shaking, just grab onto something. So grab onto the floor with your fingertips. Yeah, that's my tips for handstands. Alright, what not to do, okay? So, um, I was going to save this for headstand, but this uh, tip applies to everything, okay? So what not to do in a headstand, elbow freeze, and handstand, okay? Like I said before, when you're doing a handstand, elbow freeze, or, or headstand, we're kind of doing this this motion, right? So if you were to lean more forward, all of your body weight's going to go forward, which is going to make you fall. Okay? How do you how do you achieve that? By bending your knees down. Okay? So you do not want to bend your knees down. Okay? So if you see yourself doing stuff like this, and you wonder why am I falling, is because you're bending your knees down, which is causing your body to have more weight to drag you to the floor. Okay? So if you want to, so to prevent that, to the side or out, okay? To the side or out. The side. Okay. Andre, Volk, what if I'm falling and I, I, 
I, I, it's just happening. What do I do? Keep bending your knees forward. Okay? So, if I told you not to bend your knees forward, if you're falling, bend your knees forward. Right? So you, you want to watch. Oh my god, no! This technique applies to everything. To elbow freeze. Oh my god, no! Okay? And to handstand. Oh my god, no! Um, that's what I would recommend, is uh, if you're falling, bend your knees down. Um, if you're trying to hold, do not bend your knees down. Legs out to the side. Last thing to go over before we wrap up is um, how to improve and get those creases out of your freezes, okay? Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple things. All of what I talk about applies to head, elbow, and handstand, okay? So just use these topics and apply them to all three freezes. So whenever you practice your freezes, you want to think, is this what I want my power to look like? Okay, I'm going to make that point again because I think it's important in, the, in season two. So if you want your power to uh, have like straight, straight whips or whatever, then you got to practice the straight leg stretches. If you want your power to be more like kicking and stuff like that, instead of, instead of like, a, like a whipping motion, I don't know why you would want that, maybe because it's easier and you want like an easier life. I don't know, I don't see a reason why you would ever want like air flares that look like, 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 like that and shit. Like it just, it's just so, that's how you want to present yourself? Okay, dude, like whatever, you know, like your look, but uh, well, not my look, right? And not your look either, I'm assuming, because you're here with me training in the den. Mmm, sponsor me. So what I would do... Um, start at a headstand and then do the same thing in a headstand, in an elbow freeze and a handstand, okay? So I'm going to go facing this way. So I want you guys, first things first is, okay, so your, your headstand is pretty good. Shapes. I'm going to do shapes here, shapes here, shapes here, shapes here. Doing stuff like this, moving your legs down and up. Most important thing, if you're going to do any one of these freezes, I recommend doing the big circle out big circle out this is probably the most important important um, freeze uh, conditioning thing that you're gonna do if you're gonna do this remember do not do stuff like this do stuff like this so if you notice the reason my hips are up when I whip my legs this way, my hips are up. If I whip my legs like this, my hips drop down, which makes it harder for me to do my moves. So anytime I do power, it's always in this way. And then you do the same thing in an elbow freeze. And get out of here. Oh, yeah. And it. Woo! That was a good workout. I think that concludes my masterclass in help <laughs> elbow freeze, handstands, and handstands. I hope you guys learned something. These videos are long, but they're filled with a lot of information. And if you really want these moves, you would stay and watch and take notes and then go practice them. Because like when you practice, man, there's like more that goes ah. I'll keep this talk for another video. <laughs> keep practicing, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.